Cyanide and Happiness. Look, these little stickman characters, they've been around for an eternity. It's been like two decades now, and you're going to know this beloved comic series. So basically, Cyanide and Happiness is a license to print. Their website, Explosism.net, gets over a million views a day. It is just bonkers. And what they also have is they have card games. Back in 2018, they had Joking Hazard, which is a Cards Against Humanity clone, but instead using the comic panel series from Cyanide and Happiness as basically the Cards Against Humanity cards. And look, it worked great, sold, you know, absolutely like crazy amounts. Then they follow up in 2018 by Trial by Trolley, where you've got a trolley, you go and go left or right, you can make it go either way, but if it goes left, maybe it's gonna like take out a whole bunch of your know, innocent babies. If it goes right, maybe some, you know, beautiful nuns or something. Like it's gonna, it, you've gotta make that decision. But you know, on top of that, you're gonna keep sort of adding onto it and gonna add these cards to sort of maybe help sway it, you know, in the opposite direction so it doesn't take out your, your, you know, path, your railway. Uh, it's it's great. So there's two two great games that they've got, and these are very light. They're they're um, adult games, but they're also party games. And party games is a big big thing in the uh, board game and card game industry. So they followed it up with Master Data. Now Master Data is a play on words from Masturbator, or in Australia we say Masturbator, whatever. So. It's basically, you look at their Cyanide and Happiness comics, and my goodness, you don't have to look long until you see some, you know, some little stick man just, you know, whacking it off, and you're like, oh, welcome to Cyanide and Happiness. Anyway, I've talked enough, let's get into the campaign. Okay, so this campaign is literally only about five or six hours old. We're already up to 124,000 there, and what are we, 2,000 backers, and that is just gonna keep going up. But by the time we finish this and come back to it, they'll have gone up heaps more. 30 days left to go, and do you know what? This is going to sell. I reckon we're, we're, we're talking in the millions here. These sort of party games, they're just so popular. Now, what we have here, let's have a look at the, oh, we just missed it. Let's have a look at the video. You know, Do you that beloved that? character, you, like I said, you just know them so well. They're so iconic. Check out these cards. It's called Master Data. It's the and yeah, well, it is a card game, so there's a whole bunch of cards there. And basically, this is the premise of it. You have, you know, two singles that are vying for your attention, and you know, it's it's nice to be loved like that. Well, you know, lovely. And there you go. So you've got some cards. So you're going to play what you're actually interested in. So these are going to be your sort of three cards that sort of explain who you are. And then the other two people, they're going to have their head and body cards and they're going to choose the best ones that are going to sort of, I guess, draw your attraction, draw your love. And that's pretty much it. So you're going to sort of, you know, understand who your, uh, you know, person is you're trying to go for there. They're going to flip over their cards, holding guns, skin wearing, basically trying to attract their attention and, and get them to be chosen. Now the catch here is, what's gonna happen is uh, that person who is the love interest has those three cards and they're gonna actually pick um, out of those three cards, which one's gonna go to which person. So maybe one person might get two, one person might get one, or that, you know maybe one person gets all three of them. There we go, that sort of explains it there. And then by the end of the game, you have to have, I think it was five cards uh, with three different types, a uh, minimum of three different types. Like here we go. So you're gonna have the three different types there, which is the blue, orange, and the red, and then you have to have five total, and then you're the winner. And look, there we go. Dave and Rob, rich as all get out for just, you know, drawing stick men. It's insane. Okay, let's go on. So, what we have here is not the world's biggest campaign. It's actually quite a small one. So this is on GameFound, and what we have is, I'm gonna probably say it's the smallest campaign page I've ever seen, so it's gonna be a quick video. So here we go, three to six players, 20 minutes, 13 up. So it, there is gonna be a lot of those uh, vulgar and, and coarse sort of, you know, uh, subject matters that, you know, really, you know, it, this isn't for kids. This is for, this is an adult party game through and through. So in this game, you'll create wacky characters and shamelessly pander your way into the heart of the sexy single. Great. So here we go, how to play. So you're playing one sexy single, and then the other people have got to play head and body to try and attract that single. So let's use the example here. So this person here plays hard to get, loves outdoorsy stuff, and only date rich people. And this person's got uh, their big foot, and they're a bank robber. So I guess they're going for, you know, I'm a bank robber, so I'm rich. 
Um, and Bigfoot, I like outdoorsy stuff. So, you know, they might win two of those cards there and possibly could win all three of them. And that's the idea. It's a super simple game. You know, you're going to feel like these mechanics are sort of, you know, we just, if you love these party games, they're just very sound mechanics that you're going to know and love already. And there we go, just more examples. And there's a look at the art again. Cyanide and Happiness art. Again, you, it's, just, it's just what it is. And here we go. So it, why back on GameFound? So you can get the standard edition, which you should never get the standard edition, because you're going to get that in retail. Exactly the same as pretty much most other games. If they're going to go in retail, you're going to get them cheaper in retail later. So never get the standard edition. The reason you're going on GameFound is because you're getting this edition. This is basically the standard edition plus all the stretch goals. Now... They are playing on unlocking lots and lots of stretch goals here. And it's just called the Big Love Edition. So again, just so many innuendos going your way here. Okay, and there we go. So $65 for, for that. that. And that's the one, again, we care about. Look, 1,782 people already back in that edition. And people who are back in this one, 66 people, you've got it wrong. You're doing this wrong. Yeah, if you're going for this edition... Just wait for retail. Unless, you know, unless you can't get in retail in your country or whatever, then great. Then maybe that's the way to go. Okay. And also there's going to be, um, there's actually going to be a few expansions, I believe, sort of mentioned here. The first one that's been announced is the Uncut expansion. So there we go. So remember, if you get in this edition, you're getting everything. So it's going to get the expansions. It's going to get any other unlock. Uh, whereas, yep, you can go this way and just get them separately, but you're not going to get all the other unlocks. And... I, I don't know how, but here we go. $150 to get just a custom email. <laughs> so what are we paying for? $65 up to $150 to just get an email. There was only two of them. They're both gone. Um, but it's an expensive email. You'd, you'd want to, I don't know, print it out, frame it, put it on the wall. Anyway, cool. So here we go. More info. Okay, so here we go. Over the next 30 days, we're throwing all kinds of stuff at you. And they're doing this very differently. I've never seen it done like this before. So they're basically going to have unlocks, but you've got to actually got three challenges to unlock. So each one. So, oh, well, you've got to get two of the three challenges each week to unlock it. So the first one here, um, you're going to get a Joking Hazard 10-pack, more more cards, and get your box kissed. Not COVID-friendly. So I... <laughs> I'm going to assume that's a sticker or, or, or something. I don't know what that is. But anyway, that's what that is. Yeah, got to unlock three of the goals here. So these are the sort of the goals down here. And once they're all unlocked, then you'll get those. What we've already unlocked so far is just the uncut expansion and that email that two people get the email. There we go. Like I said, we are pretty much through the campaign. This is it. This is all you see. And I've never seen this on any Kickstarter or GameFound. It is so quick. And if you just want to get the add-on just by itself, I don't know why. Anyway, yep, about them. So this is probably the main thing is, you know, sign on happiness. You either love it or you hate it. If you love it, this is why you're here checking it out, obviously. So it's a long-running comic. But, um, and then, yeah, back in 2016, created Joking Hazard, which just sold so many. And then, yeah, Troll by Trolley was just as popular. So, yep, and there we go. It looked... There's nothing else in the campaign page. So one thing you can do is you can go through the, um, I think it's the FAQs, and it basically said this is going to ship December 2022. And, yeah, look, I sort of believe that. These, these are a big enough company that they should stick pretty close to the time frame. So we're looking at end of the year, probably start of, the, you know, start of next year. But that is it. There's nothing more to go on. I think it's going to be one of those things where you're going to have to just keep coming back to this campaign. We've got 30 days of this ahead of us. There's going to be so many unlocks. I may even come back at this, do another video right at the end just to see all of the unlocks. But that's basically it. Like, you know, do I recommend this to the site? It's, it's so early days. Um, I wanted to get in early. I wanted to sort of, you know, just have a feel for this because I was so excited. The one thing about this is normally you get a whole bunch of information sort of leaked through leading up to it. And with this, you hardly got any information at all. Pretty much just said there's a card game coming. So, you know, now we actually understand what it is, what it's called, what it looks like. Uh, the only other thing is if you backed the GameFound uh, pledge prior or if you're not backed it, if you just supported it and followed it um, earlier, you also get this little figurine, little um, cyanide happiness figurine as well. So hopefully for everyone, you know, you remember to jump on board early and get that as well. That's pretty much it. Look, I think at the end of the day, these sort of games, they do well on crowdfunding, you know. So we've got basically Casting Shadows currently on doing, you know, great guns over at Kickstarter. And this is also going to do great guns. You know, if you're into these sort of party games, highly recommend. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can talk about for now. We'll have a look at it later on. That's enough from me. I'm Hoax. 
This is Board Game Bangers. Till next time, laters. Thank you.